morning guys so I'm starting the vlog early I figured I'll do the vlog in sections and piece it together I'm feeling ambitious all of a sudden um, happy Tuesday December 18th day three of my changing my life changing my ways and changing my bad habits so I woke up this morning a little slower than yesterday um, last night I was extremely exhausted. My body started to get a little bit sore, a lot more stiff. So working out um, after two days, my body started to feel like, okay, something's happening here. Um, so I'm a little bit sore today, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little exhausted. Um, but I've been very active. Um, I got my son's shirt finished. I'll have to show you guys some pictures later on in the vlog. Um, I got him ready for school. He helped me even get his lunch packed while I finished gluing a few things. Um, and I'm feeling good. The one thing I can tell you is I'm feeling a little bit more awake, even though I'm lacking a little bit of sleep. Um, I feel like the energy I'm getting from exercising is helping. Um, and I did not eat my face off last night when I stay up late. So I chose to not eat a lot of junk food last night. Um, I'm still, I still had a second pop though in the evening, but, um, I did drink, I think, three bottles of water yesterday and two pops. So I need to be drinking way more water than that. Um, I'm trying to get into that. You know, like I can go without and I'm not sitting here. At least it's not juice. At least it's not coffee. Like I'm not indulging in so many other things. I don't smoke. I don't drink very often. I barely drink at all. Um, usually on special occasions or what have you. So I'm already, you know, off to a good start. Now I'm starting to notice that my face is starting to clear up a little bit because I'm trying to cut out some of the sugars. I know when I eat too much sugar, um, I find my skin just breaks out. It's like inflammation of my skin too. Not to mention I already have autoimmune, so I get rosacea. I get other skin irritations because of my injection. So don't think if I'm breaking out it's sugar related. It's not always that. Um, it's also because of my injections. My injections are um, causing inflammations as well. Sometimes it helps clean up the inflammations. Um, I'm going to be doing weigh-ins on Sundays. So depending on how many vlogs I do through the week, I don't know if this is turning into a daily vlog or if there will be times I skip it. So that's why I'm not doing day whatever. I'm just doing vlog whatever. And then I can talk about specific days or what I've done over the past few days. So I'm going to try to do a food journal, I think, is what my plan is as well um, as I get into this. So I'm not going to get too serious off to a start. This is more video journal for my vlog of how things are going, how I'm feeling, how my you know body is changing, how I'm going through some of these changes, if my body's accepting the workouts, how my skin is responding, um, if I'm actually losing any weight by making these efforts, um, and see what happens. I know as soon as I cut out a lot more stuff, like the weight might change much more. But at the same time, I'm also 35 years old, so it's not exactly easy to lose weight the older you get, um, but I need to make some adjustments. And you guys have been so great with your comments as far as um, pointers and tips and tricks, and I know you guys don't want me to overexert myself, and I know you guys don't want me to hurt myself, which I'm not trying to. So you have to keep in mind, I'm not going to a gym. I'm doing this all at home. I'm just throwing in some extra one-hour activity by doing the wee, the wee Just Dance and cutting out slowly some of those things that I shouldn't be eating. So I'm not going into a hardcore diet and fasting and like cutting out everything so badly that I'm detoxing all at once and my body's going into full-blown shock. Um, I get massive headaches when I cut out pop completely, so I have to wean myself off, for example. And when I do find that I'm taking the pop away, I almost feel like I'm hypoglycemic and my body wants me to eat more sugar. <laughs> so I got to find ways to throw in some fruits and stuff instead of um, crappy sugars and stuff like that. So um, we'll carry on with the day. I just organized my schedule. Um, the school is trying to give me more availability. So um, I had to try to work that out today. Um, I'm off until Thursday this week, so I'm not doing anything other than I just tried to tidy up the mess from getting Bray's shirt done. I have some more wrapping to do tonight, 
and I have to go get a few groceries when I pick Bray up from school today. But other than that, um, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going to take a big nap today. I'm very tired. I didn't sleep very much. I only got three hours last night. So um, I still nap a little bit on my days off. I'm going to try to cut down the long length of naps as well. So that's all my plan. I know it sounds great, but that's why I'm making these vlogs to capture everything that's happening day by day, one step at a time. All right, so it's now after my workout. It is now 5 to 8 p.m. Um, we've been doing our workouts at 6.30 in the evening for an hour. So I just did a one-hour workout, and I'm not going to lie. My body is like, what the heck is happening? So um, I'm exhausted and sore. My body's really feeling it. The one-hour workout was good, but during the workout, I was feeling exhausted. I was feeling tired, feeling sore. Um, my body's just in shock right now because of all this working out. Um, I had a um, chicken salad or a chicken um, spinach lettuce wrap with like tomatoes and cucumbers and red onion um, and a spinach wrap. Very, very good. Uh, light dressing. Um, I have drank two and a half bottles of water so far. Um, I have had pop, which, you know, is obviously not something that I can just quit. Um, but no junk food so far, no chips, no candies, no nothing, so, so far so good. Um, I haven't, I think my injection is going to be tonight. I didn't do it yesterday, um, because I looked at the calendar wrong and I thought I had to do it and I didn't yet, so, um, I think tonight or tomorrow night is actually the right day, so, um, one of those. Sorry, my computer keeps going off. So, um, I was feeling really tired yes, last night too to go to bed but I was still wanting to get things done because I was finishing Bray's shirt um, I was trying to do other things I'll insert the picture here because I wanted to show you guys what the shirt looked like and I don't know if I did if I'm doing it in the front part so I'll show you now because I it was really really cute well here is the shirt so far for Bray for school tomorrow I just have to glue the silver and the gold bow down and these little gold ribbons. But I almost want to check with him first in the morning to make sure he's okay with that. I don't want him upset with me if it's too crazy blingy. Um, maybe I'll just put the bows on. If he doesn't like all this bling at the bottom, I can just take it off. So I'll see how he likes it. But I um, wanted to show you guys how it looks all finished. In case when he gets home from wearing it, it doesn't look like this. Because some of the stuff <laughs> might pop off. It's all used with glue gun. So thanks, Kels fam, for helping me um, figure out everything. I put rhinestones here. I glued down little confetti pieces and bells and sparkles and tinsel. So it's bells, bows, bulbs, and bling. Unfortunately, I don't have any bulbs. And it, all of these heavy bows with the glue were already making this shirt weighed down a little bit. So he said it was starting to feel a little heavy. So I'm hoping it's okay. So that's why I'm kind of nervous to glue these ones down. So I'll see what he thinks in the morning. Hopefully he likes it. So that was the finished product of his shirt. He wore it today. Shirt turned out great. He was actually happy to wear it. The bows got a little bit scrunched on it and he lost a little bit of sequins on it. But other than that, it held up pretty good. I'm very impressed how it turned out. He was happy with it and um, yeah, it was a good day. So I don't want to make these vlogs too long because I want to keep you guys interested. I want to keep you guys watching. Um, I'm very sore. My feet hurt. My legs hurt. My arms hurt the most and my feet hurt the most because I have problems with my feet. So um, I'm exhausted. Very exhausted. <laughs> um, but it feels good. I really do. I'm, I'm feeling the energy coming back slowly. I'm not, um, I'm actually motivated, which is something that I wasn't before when I've tried these type of exercises and workouts and things. I think it's different when you're dancing it off as opposed to doing like some sort of, like you're doing full cardio on just dance, like it's crazy. Um, I do have, um, if I can find them, hold on one second. I do have these um, stretch training, uh, stretch tubing as well, the Everlast, um, um, I guess they're like stretchy. They tone arms, legs, abdomen, and under the shoulders and the back strength. 
So I'm going to do these as well. Um, I bought them at Winners and I haven't used them yet. So I'm going to use those to do some toning as well, as well as some crunches, um, some stretching, some things like that. So day three has gone well, guys. I started the vlog this morning. I wanted to tell you guys how I've been feeling. want to keep it short and sweet. Um, but yes, I'm enjoying it. I'm getting through it. I know the first week is the toughest. So let's see how we feel tomorrow on day four. So don't forget to hit that like button, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. How are you guys doing? Are any of you guys doing anything right now? How are you guys feeling? How is your food changes working out? Um, I definitely like my skin's clearing up from um, cutting out some of the junk. And um, I think once I do my injection, though, that'll help more because I find when I take the injection, it clears up the skin a little bit more first, too. So it's a little bit of everything, and then I flare up. It's all autoimmune, so it's not necessarily everything that I'm eating. It's also a mixture of many other things. So yay, day three! So thank you guys for following my journey. Continue to keep watching. Thank you for commenting and following this journey along with me. I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell to be notified. Check out all my links down below, and I'll see you guys on the next vlog.